you know, we kind of ran into a buzzsaw today a little bit, and I, I fully expected to get a great punch and effort from them. You know, their defense really gave us problems the whole whole night, the whole afternoon, and twofold, you know, uh, turnovers in the first half uh, put us in a hole we could never get out of. And the one thing about their two guards, they really guard our guards. It's hard for our guards, who are pretty darn good, to get anything going because their guards can really defend. Um, and I think they're certainly playing really well right now, you know, with uh, the parts. And, uh, uh, but but for us, you know, I told our guys, I said, I'm, you know, I'm very proud of, we, we're 11 and 7. We got through this regular season. We were 3 and 3 when Scott Martin went down. You know, we head to New York and we get some rest tomorrow and kind of excited to play one last Big East tournament for, for us. In New York? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you know, it, it, we keep saying, oh, it's going to be a wild Big East tournament. And I think you can say that almost every darn year, the way this thing is. It's going to, you know, look at look at what was on the line today. And, and uh, um, I'm going to miss this league, man. I mean, now it's kind of hitting me that we're not going to be doing this anymore. And Rick and I were talking about that before the game. But, um, you know, uh, who, who, who was the sixth seed last year and how did they do? Thank you. I thank you. I thought, oh, huh. I was thinking about that as a, as the buzzer. Well, I was thinking about that at the 12 minute mark. Quite frankly. <laughs> yeah, I think you know. I think it's safe to say Louisville and Georgetown are playing the best right now. No question about it. But you know what happens? And hey, Louisville last year was a great example. You go in on the six seat. You get you get going a little bit, and you know you see what happens. You know we have been to the semis, Bernie, we've been there three out of four years, but we've never gotten to Saturday night. You know, I'd love to see our program get to Saturday night before we uh, head to Tobacco Road. Like as much of a struggle as it was in the first half, you, you get it to five. I know. What, what didn't happen after that one? Really? Their energy just seemed like it. Yeah, I, I think, you know, their defensive intensity went up. You know, we got some really good looks. We got some transition stuff. Um, they stopped our guards from getting in there. We also missed some stuff around the bucket. We had some stuff around the bucket, our big guys. Jack and Tom had a tough night. You know, we need to get them going. Now, our other two bigs gave us great stuff. But Jack and Tom weren't very good, and, and that's, that's uh, objective number one, to get their gears rolling again before Wednesday. After what Grant did at the end of the last game <laughs> against them, did you expect them to really clamp down? On yeah, that? yeah. I don't think you, you only have one magic act a season, maybe in your career. What that, the way that, and you know, the last game was like this game. A couple turnovers, we're in a hole. Only we had a miracle happen to get out of the hole, or we would have been beat by 12 up there. I mean, we just had magical stuff happen. We turned the ball over. Our out of our baseline out of bounds stuff. Um, you know, we we threw two away there that those were really deflating and uh, I just don't know if you ever really really recover I thought Siva was amazing you know we did a great job at our place keeping him out of the paint on the ball screen tonight it was impossible we tried Grant on him we tried doubling the ball screen he had an energy about him getting into the paint making some runners and then breaking down our defense I mean we we were kind of helpless with the way he was getting into the paint tonight how about when Jang is playing like this? Yeah. He's, he, you know, when he's scoring like that, uh, you know, that's a whole nother gear for them. Because you know, they've had their offensive droughts. You know, they've had times when they can't score. But he, he looked like a pro tonight. He's shooting turnaround jump shots. He's shooting tough jump hooks over big guys. He's making the 15-footer. Yeah, he's got a great presence about him. You know, he and Siva, um, again, because we've had a lot of games with him, I have a lot of respect for those two guys. And they're classic. I see young men that have been winners. I want to go back to the, you were talking about the Big East, and you think the Big East with the way it, it seems like a, like kind of a girl, like, like let's sort of set the standard for the rest of the country. I mean, you know, you know, as far guys play hard. big guys, well, I think eventually the ACC is going to have, you know, when we all get there, um, I, I think the ACC is going to be that conference. You know, it's going to have all the depth, and, and I sure hope we can get eight and nine bids because that's keeping us all in coaching because we're getting half of our league in, in regularly. I sure hope that happens in the ACC. Um, but uh, you have a league like that, does it? Carry into the tournament. You know, I, I don't. I don't know if you can. You know, there, there. We've had. T we've had n nine teams get bids. We haven't done well in the tournament. We probably. There is no rhyme or reason for. You know, oh, it gets you ready. 
I don't know. It, it's all about it's all about getting on a little run in that next tournament too, and maybe you get a little lucky with matchups. Um, I do know we beat the living heck out of each other in this league, and we seem to really enjoy doing it. And, and uh, there's a lot of mutual respect um, amongst coaches and players in this league.